Hi guys, so today I have a video sponsored by Tonic Studios for their new uh, Tonic Craft Kit. It is uh, number 64. It's a terrific telephone gift box, so that sounds very cute already. So they did send us items free of charge from my review, and of course all opinions are my own. And any links I have in the description box will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you're a purchase item to those links. So thanks for using those. If you can, I'll have them linked there for the US site and the UK site. And um, they do have monthly subscriptions, they have quarterly subscriptions, or if you don't want to sign up for a subscription, you can also just pick it up one off and um, what they call a one off purchase. So let's open this guy up. If you are a member, though, you will get 10% off the site when you place orders throughout the month. So I'm um, using the code TCK. Uh, I think on some sites it's already updated to just do it automatically. But let's get this guy open. So let me see if I can hold this guy. Let's see the meat and potatoes of the. Uh, craft kit, which we have um, a split packaging here of your dies. So here we have different square shapes, rectangles, and uh, what's going to make you her terrific telephone, of course, gift box, different uh, decorative pieces. Looks like maybe a little, little closure there and on this side. So generally this also comes with a little sticker that you can put on the front. Um, I get samples so mine look a little bit different than what you might receive at home. And just looking at the back really quick, look, it's like a Doctor Who telephone <laughs> box uh, uh, kind of thing. Oh, that is so funny because I was like, oh, I thought it would just be like a little telephone telephone, you know, but this is really cute. So that's going to hold plenty of things inside of there. Um, so again, we have just different uh, info here and the instructions on how to put together our... Uh, telephone, how cute! Oh my goodness, so we will get to that in just a second. Um, you see, there's inlays, all kinds of fun things. It's a little stamp set with some like uh, florals with little um, flourish and you know, telephone well done, have a treat, and like a little crown. Lovely. And then here we have some different items. So we have um, Oh, this is so pretty. Hybrid ink pads and sliced strawberry, Moroccan teal, and marble statue. Really, really gorgeous colors. And then we have a ooh, crystal drops in uh, metallic. It's crystal drops metallic. It's oh, silver lining. I would say it should have a different name than just the metallic. So, silver lining, super pretty and silvery, as you can see there. And then we have some um, glacier paste, which is really lovely. Glacier paste just has a really nice texture, a nice look to it. It's very shimmery. Yeah, almost it's like almost frost. like um, like some kind of makeup cream that has like shimmer to it. That's what it reminds me of. Just the look of it. It's really really cool. Uh, glacier paste winter white, really really gorgeous. And then I see in here we have a dauber so we have a dauber how cute is that I love the little handle and then uh, different heads to go with that so you can do some um, blending and inking and things like that really cool tool to have and then here we have uh, the papers gorgeous let me just display them out a little bit so there's a couple two of the craft perfect uh, cardstock which are gorgeous red uh, papers and they have a little bit of a linen feel and if you can see that texture and on the back it's a little bit less textured. Um, usually if I use this stuff and I want to stamp on it, I stamp on the back side and die cut on the back side so it's uh, less textured if you want to do the stamping but again it has that beautiful texture. Some red glitter, black glitter, specialty card, gorgeous. This is their um, black like matte black cardstock. It's like a heavyweight cardstock. Um, so as you can see there. It's different from like this kind where it has the texture. These are uh, smooth. Ooh, a beautiful piece of vellum. More of a heavyweight vellum. How cute is that? There's a couple of pieces of that. It looks like there might be one heavier weight and one lighter. So you can see the difference. You can kind of see through them differently. Uh, gorgeous red. This one called Fire Opera Red. Really, really nice. Hi. <laughs> uh, silver metallic paper or gray. And then your matte silver matte metallic. So what I'm going to do is put some of these things to the side for a minute and um, look at the instructions and we'll get started. Quickly looking over the instructions, what we're going to do is, I think I'm going to base everything on the red paper. Um, maybe this base piece I'll use the black paper, but generally the telephones are all red so I thought well we can just do all red and then accent with the black and the other colors that we have. But I did bring out these pieces here. 
so we have our red papers and we're just going to go through and cut out what it's telling me to cut so we need one of the uh, square die let me just take these out of the packaging over to cut out. I'm gonna use the larger square it doesn't really say on here if you're using the larger or the smaller one but you know maybe the smaller ones for decoration I'm gonna use the larger one and I suppose the other way we can verify that is getting these little guys here and seeing where they go edge to edge that looks about right so we need one of the larger we need uh, four of these little guys are like hinges glue tabs kind of thing so we need four of those and we will need four of this guy over here which is like the little top crown part <laughs> so what we're making first is this very top portion here and so we have that and so we need four of those and then creating the treat box itself um, if you want to use the door it does say it has a door feature or you can leave it so the top is removable so you can still put treats in so or you can do both right the door and the top I think I'm gonna leave mine so the top is removable so we'll do that with this one all you're doing with the door if you want the door you have a die that cuts the door so that it opens this one see so has like a little slit here and it has like a little tab bit you can use that one time and then this guy three times or all four times with this guy right so I'm gonna do four of this we also need four of this the long strip again like a glue tab hinge type thing and let's see okay so the other part is you cut four of these if you choose to cover the telephone box windows so basically it's a portion that will go inside your window and I think I'm gonna cut that but I'm gonna cut it from vellum so I'm gonna leave this portion for now we're just creating well we'll get to it uh, I just want to cut the uh, base things that we need um, and then here it says only cut the below dies if you intend to create the magnet magnet lock so if you're gonna do like a magnet lock for your door or however you would use these portions but we will go to the next and yeah we have that and then we need to cut our base and again uh, I'll cut the base from black paper the black paper that's in the kit and we need two of those so two of these also and you know what while I'm at it I will go ahead and cut the vellum so I'm gonna cut this four times from the uh, lighter weight vellum why not and I'll be right back. Pieces here again. Um, I use the red for the base, so we have four of the vellum pieces from this die. I'll put that back. And then it only took one page. Like I maxed out my paper of, to make you know, all these different die cuts, and so you know I kind of puzzled it in there. And there's still even a little tiny bit left, so you can get your whole project as far as um, the base of your project done from one. This is a four size piece of paper. Um, so for this first part, we will need these guys. So I have those four kind of interesting shapes, right? For the top, we have four, uh, one square, and then those four glue tabs, and then we have the two for the base. So I'll put these to the side right now because the instructions show to put the little top together first. I have not sat down. I just realized. I just ended up crafting standing up the whole time. Uh, join four glue tab dies to square cut out. So uh, I am going to put the nice side facing up. So we'll have that. And also, I'm going to go ahead and score them before I add them. Only because I don't want to add them and then score them and then see, like, oh, I might have been better if I had glued it a little further in or further out or whatever. So this way I have an idea of where these are going to be. And just keep flattening them back out, that's fine. I just want to have the score line ready to go. I'll bring this over here. Just get that right on there. Just kind of centering them there. And I'll go ahead and do all four. And then when we're done, this piece here is going to glue to those also. So I will be right back. Just go all the way around, gluing these glue tabs on this one and I'm just going around they don't quite meet up or at least um, the way I have them there's like a little bit of a gap instead of just meeting exactly together I'm just showing you that in case you know you're wondering or when you're working with it and like I said I think using the larger square is the right one because this is gonna fit over on top of this one of those ways so and now we have this guy and these guys you're gonna glue them to the glue tab and then to each other or each other and then put them on the glue tab however it is that you want to do that but what I'm going to do is put glue on here 
and I'm trying to think what's better if I go this way first and then the glue tab glue tab first let's glue a couple of them together at least and again this is how I'm choosing to do it you can do whatever works for you okay so this side that I already have the glue tab to the next one I'm going to put right on here and I'm lining it up with the base of that glue tab so it creates like a little recess up at the top here, right? You see how this is out and this is down to the bottom. Okay. And again, we'll get that one ready for the next one, but for right now, so we'll put glue here. Yep, and just line that up. Because again, you're not going to be able to get the glue tab underneath, so you got to kind of as you go, at least that's how I'm doing it. Put some glue there. Get this next guy going. Oh, and then our last one, you know what, I'm going to pull this away just a little bit so I can get that glue tub underneath. So I suppose you can make it into a little crown and then keep going from there. Like make a frame of these outer portions. And then glue them on. Glue tab glue tab, making sure I'm lining up the bottom like I did at the beginning. And last bit. Cute. Okay. Again, I'm just gluing that glue tab and then minding this guy also right here on the side. And just pushing that in. All right, so I'm just gonna hold this all and make sure it's nice and straight and all that, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, we have our little topper bit again. It has like a lip, so it goes on top of the box, right? So you can see. So holds that there. And they're just showing a few things here. So really quickly, it looks like all in one step, but obviously we're gonna break this up a little bit. If you're using a door and you have a backer piece for it, you know, go for it. Um, basically, we're going to be bone folding these guys or scoring them. Bone fold, if you will, but they have one little glue tab. And then we need these guys, um, all four. So we need the four sides. If you're using a door, one door side and then three of the other. I do love that they include a die to just do the door. It's not like an inlay you have to use or anything like that. It's just, it's already ready to go if you want to use that one. And then I'm gonna score these guys because we have to get them ready. And basically we're just sticking these guys together. We are gonna stick them to the base. So the base they're showing here, we'll talk about in just a minute. So let me score these. I'll also score the base pieces. So everything that needs to be scored <laughs> will be scored when I come back. And these I am scoring towards the rough cut side so that the nice side is showing. And I'll be right back. Four glue tabs. I have our four uh, panels here. And then I did cut, like I said, these pieces from vellum. And I'm probably going to go ahead and glue them in because otherwise when we put it together, it'll be harder to put them in when they're, you know, a 3D piece that's standing up. So i um, just going to take a little glue and we don't want too much. We don't really want it going all over the place, but for sure on the very edges. Now you don't have to stick down these middle parts, but I will put a little glue here and there just to kind of help hold that down a little more here. And we'll just pop that down on there. I kind of just eyeballed where the glue should be, but basically around the edge, right? And I'll do the same for all, all four panels. Let's finish this last one up. So it looks like that from the outside. So pretty. This is a very basic construction, guys. Um, what they're saying for the base is to just put glue on the short tabs. And I can see this tab goes from end to end. And then there's two short ones. So what you do, since these are exactly the same, is that you use one short tab to one long side. So if they're the same like this, I'm taking this one and I'm going to turn it. Not so that the short ones are facing each other, but short tab to a long tab, short tab to a long tab. Does that make sense? So I'm going to put glue on the short tab and adhere it to one of the long ones over here. 
you know, nice and um, centered. Okay, so right on there. Ah, moved a little bit on me, there we go. And you know, I always double check making sure it is centered. And you can see on this inside, it looks like a little pizza box, that it's right at the edges there. Okay, so now we have another uh, short tab, and now it's on the opposite side, right? Because we're kind of mix and match or whatever you want to call it. Short to long tabs. And you know, I'll probably do these two at the same time since they're both going to kind of lock in here. And you know what? Might as well go ahead and put some glue on this one too, just in case. So the short tabs go to the inside of the longer tabs, right? And then this guy also goes to the inside. But again, we can just do this one separately. So I just put glue there just in case. So we have these guys here. Just looking side to side to make sure it looks nice. And then we have this last bit again, short tab under the long tab. Okay, and I'm just gonna hold it just to make sure it stays, but look at that. Pretty cool, okay, I'll be right so back. we're done with that base piece, and I'll just choose which area looks the nicest to face forward or up, you know, when we go to add our telephone booth here. And okay, so with these, all we're doing is gluing one glue tab to the next. So I'm lining it up right at the top, and here. So what we can do is just adhere one of these glue tabs to each one and then come back and put them together, or you know, as you go along the next one, the next one, the next one, but I think what I'm gonna do is glue at least one glue tab to each one, and then put them together like a, like a frame. So again, right on the edge, just on the opposite side of the scoring line, okay? So I'll do the same thing with these guys. I have all four panels with the glue tab attached, and I did put the glue tab on the same side every time, that way we can glue them together. It just goes one to the next to the next. And so we're just going to make our little frame of panels. So I'll take this guy. The glue tab is at the bottom, guys. Doesn't really matter, I'm just showing you. <laughs> uh, okay. So again, right on that corner. And just gluing it right opposite that uh, score line from the other one here. And of course, I'll go around and do the same thing with all of them. A little glue, add it here, and a little glue, add it here. And I'll come back and to do the last one. To the last one. And I'll just add glue on that last glue tab from the beginning and bring this guy around. And again, I'm just like eyeballing the top to make sure it's nice and level up here. And there we go. Just hold that down and then we'll attach it to our base and we'll pop our top on and that is it. And then we'll do a little decorating. So very simple construction, really, really cute. Uh, I'll okay, be right so back. that is our frame. I do want to show you, and I brought the dies back over because the instructions don't show this, but if you want to finish this off, so, you know, I have the black base and the red, obviously no one's going to see it until like the treats are empty or whatever, but or gone, should I say. You do have the smaller square. You remember when we started off with the larger square that we used for this guy? You do have the smaller one that you can cut and then just pop it down in there or add it in, you know, here and then glue these guys to it. However it is you would want if you want to do that to finish it off. Um, you can also have a, like a matte layer that you can drop in here. So however you want to use that one, but I do want to point that out. Um, yeah, so now we're just going to glue this down. So again, I was going to see which side I prefer. I think this side looks really nice. And let's go with it this way. It actually doesn't really matter because um, it, you know, you can turn it different ways as you're using it. But I'm looking at the top and down, basically. The top and down. <laughs> top and bottom. So I just put some glue there and I'm just going to look down in there and make sure it's centered. That looks really good, right? Okay, so that is that. If you want to poke down in there with like a pencil or something to help you make sure that, you know, those are touching, that's great. And then again, you can pop in this square here. You see how it fits in there? And just push it down in there and cover that up if you like. 
I'm gonna let that set up and then we'll put our little top on. I'll be right hey back. Guys. So let's take our little lid and put it on here. Oh my goodness. Such a nice fit. Super cute. So that is your basic construction. Now there's lots of ways to dress this up. You want to make it look more like literally like a phone booth. Um, sorry, when I said phone booth, I thought, did I say mailbox earlier? <laughs> I hope I haven't been saying mailbox. <laughs> sorry guys, if I have, it's a phone booth. Um, so anyhow, uh, we have the little word telephone here. We have this little strip, so like this guy is big enough to, you know, pop on there. And basically that's what it says. It just says like telephone and then it has like a crown. You can dress it up however you want. It's all the way around too, so people from all angles can see that it's a telephone uh, booth there. Um, so... I think what I'll do is I'm going to cut this out of some silver paper and just decorate the front of this. You know, basic construction is just showing you some ideas. And then we have our, these background pieces. And just to dress it up a little bit more, we also have this guy. You can also just cut out of some paper and, you know, use also. So what I think I'll do is black glitter on this one, the black glitter paper, just so it pops. I'm going to run this through the silver. Um, once to have the little strip that's going to say telephone, then we'll run it back through with uh, this inlay. Well, it's not really an inlay, it's like a, well, it is an inlay, but it embosses the word telephone. You also have happy and then birthday and then just to say. So, uh, different words that we'll cut into that strip. But for now, I'm going to run this through, like I said, get one of those four from Black Glitter. And then we have these little guys. So generally it's like gold colors, but the kit came with silver. So I think what I'm going to do is cut this one out of silver and this accent piece out of some other color. Um, we will see. But I'll be right back. Okay. So I have um, a few different decorative pieces for all around. Um, I did cut this washer looking one because what I want is the middle piece to make like what would look like a little knob. Why not? Since we didn't do the latch on this one, we'll just make like a little faux doorknob. Uh, we have that piece there. And so I'll take this telephone inlay piece, or again, kind of like inlay, and just put it right there. And I'm just going to tape across here so it doesn't move. And I'm going to run this through just to get that the words embossed there, okay? And we have our little crown. I did go with the red glitter papers. Remember, there's a lot of specialty cardstock in this, so there's just a lot of fun ways to dress it up. Metallics and all these different things, so I'll be right back. I just ran it through nothing special. It's just that it didn't um, inlay with the die, so you have to run it through separately. But look how cute. Oh my gosh. So, all right, I'm just gonna put some of these things together before we finish up. So like the little crown piece. Actually, I'm gonna put a little glue on the back of my hand. And I think that's the only thing that actually needs to be put together before we go on. And I just put little glittery red paper in the back so it looks cute. And I will make this the front of my project. This one here. So again, we can pop this up or just glue it straight down. I will put some glue and remove the excess because I don't want it to get warped or look funky. Sometimes glue will reactivate or um, warp your paper. So I'm gonna hold that down. I'll be right back. I'll just remove that actually. I am so sorry. I'm just thinking, I'm like, was I saying mailbox this whole time? <laughs> I hope not. I am sorry if I did. Um, okay, so this was actually over here, wasn't it? All right, so then around these guys, I'm just gonna add this black glitter accent piece that I created there, the dye. Just somewhere like that, and I'll do that on all four sides. Hey guys. They're super cute. Oh my goodness. So let's put this back on here. And then here, I'm just going to put this down again. You can pop it up however much dimension you like. I'm just going to glue that down. Somewhere like right here. Just kind of seeing what's going on there about center. Something like that. Cute. And then I'll just stick this little door little knob like there okay I'll be right there's our back. little treat box let me tell you how deep in all those kinds of things um, from the very top it looks like it's about four and a quarter inches tall and two and a half almost two and a half inches wide I would say two and three eighths can hold lots of treats um, look how cute and again you can decorate all four sides I just uh, have this front part going in a little decoration on the around the other sides. How adorable is that? 
Oh my goodness. Thank you so much, Tonic, for uh, sponsoring this video, for sending these items for review, guys. So again, this is the monthly kit. If you're signed up, this is what you will be receiving. And again, the one-off purchase. I'll have all those different links in the description box. I mean, super cute. And I mean, there's still stamps in here and all kinds of other fun things that we uh, didn't try out in this uh, particular project but we have the tools and all those other fun things that came in there I do want to show you really quickly this is how I laid it out so everything cut from one piece of paper and like I said there's still a little piece here left over so as you can see the four larger panels this was kind of like this and then these guys were all just kind of laid across here so it all just worked out all right guys uh, thanks for watching I'll see you at the next one bye now